Spectre may... realize that this case has taken a turn. About time. How do you figure? Intentional poisoning usually has one goal. To eliminate the target. Someone was trying to kill us. Ergot poisoning at high enough doses ends in gangrene. Which, yeah, is pretty bad, but it's not death. You really think this was intentional? And not some, you know, accidental ingestion? If you look at all the evidence, yes. Olivia's jacket at the crime scene, the spray painting of the Perry house, everyone's obsession to get May convicted. You know what all these people have in common. What? They're women. Are you saying they're all witches or that this is a witch hunt? I'm saying it's Salem. Can I help you, Miss Drew? I'm here for the CCTV footage. Yes, yes, yes. You can use this on the evidence room computer. You know where that is, right? Yeah, I found the pin code here, remember? Of course you did. Now run along. Run along? You know, I just realized I never followed up with you two about what you were doing on the day the AW evidence was stolen. Ugh. You know, Nancy, this detective thing is really sweet and all, but we are in the middle of something important here, okay? What are you doing? Initiating the process of handing over Hathorn House to the state so it can be turned into a museum. What? It's our only option. But you work for Lauren. It's her home. And I'm getting her an extra 90 days before she's evicted, which is 90 more than she would have had without me. So we're a little busy right now, because we need to file this by the end of the day. And May Perry? What about May Perry? Is she being charged? I won't discuss this. It's an active criminal investigation. But from what I've heard, an arrest will happen later today. So please, can you both leave us? Come on, Deirdre. I have the drive. OK, distract me, Drew, so I don't go back in there and smash things. With what? Tell me, tell me some inane detail from your life so I feel better. One where you come off badly. I know. Tell me what Ned said when you told him you saw a ghost. Oh, shoot. I totally forgot. I said I'd call him back and I didn't. You forgot? Do you even want a boyfriend, Drew? Because that is a fine young man some other girl might appreciate more than you. Some other girl? Yes. Like a nice girl who knows him well and thinks he's cute and would remember to call. You know I'm a detective, right? This mystery girl, not so mysterious. Shucks. I was trying to throw you off with nice. Oh, come on. You're in no danger from me, Drew. You could never call Ned again, and he'd still be sitting by his phone waiting for you. Maybe. After this, I'm going with him on vacation. No cases. I think you'd hate that. You need a case. You're a mystery addict. Get him to help. Romance, adventure, a tropical location with stunning sunsets. That actually sounds like an amazing idea. I know. Also, I hate you. <laughs> Thanks, Deirdre. Uh, uh. Nancy, how's my favorite daughter doing? Only daughter. Ugh. That too. You okay? How's the case coming along? Not well. I have a bunch of alibis, but I'm missing something. Then there's the book of apologies that's been stolen, and the arson, and a break-in at the courthouse. Hey, hey, hey. Slow down. Let's focus on one person at a time. Who's on your list? Tegan Perry runs the museum in the center of town. The gatekeeper of the town. You mean like the keeper of the town's history? 
Exactly. Anyone who runs a museum has a vested interest in keeping that history alive. I don't know Tegan, but I don't doubt that she feels some ownership over the town's past, present, and future. So, she wouldn't want to destroy Hathorn House. But? Well, she runs the Accused Witches Organization. She's very passionate about their cause. Like, extremely. Being passionate and being destructive are two different motivations. It's not impossible, but it is implausible. May Perry is the primary suspect for the arson. And why is she the prime suspect? She's the only one who won't give an alibi for the night of the Hathorn House arson. I see. And she's been in trouble for a fire before, when she was a kid. Seems people want to believe the worst of her. She has a reputation for being weird and a loner. None of that explains why she won't give an alibi now. She plain refuses. Seems to me like she's doing it to protect someone. Or a group. Her sister runs the accused witches. But May doesn't seem too invested in their cause. She could be protecting multiple people. Maybe the whole town is in on it. I think uncovering her alibi is the key to unlocking this whole case. Yeah, you're probably right. If I could only get her to talk to me. There's a woman who claims to be a real witch. Olivia Ravencroft. That's quite the name. She's quite the personality. She lures everyone to her witch tour in the square, performing street magic. It's really something. She sounds like an entrepreneur. But would she be motivated to burn down a historic building in her own town? Could add to the value of her tour. The myth of the cursed town of Salem. She also pushes this whole ghost narrative suggesting a restless spirit might be responsible for the arson of Hathorn House, that they were set loose by a coven of modern witches seeking revenge. That could be a play to make money from tourism. It's cynical, but in today's day and age, I don't doubt it. There's something interesting about the whole coven thing, though. Not cracked it yet. Witches in Salem. Careful with that. You know I am. Also, I discovered she uses smoke bombs in her magic shows. Could be a pyrotechnical accident. Or intentional. Yes. Who else? Lauren Holt is the supposed heir of the Hathorn House estate. Why supposed? She's the adopted daughter of the previous owner, Frances Tuttle. And while Lauren claims there's a will, no one has been able to find it. How did her relationship with Miss Tuttle seem to you? Close. But then wouldn't Frances have kept the will available if that was the case? Either way, I struggle to justify why she would burn down the house. Oh, any number of reasons. She could feel that the house is Ms. Tuttle's and refuses to let it pass into anyone else's hands. If any of these other players have their eyes on repurposing it as a museum or entertainment venue, she could view that as an affront to Ms. Tuttle's memory. Well, she also lives there, not in the burned part, in a separate carriage house. By burning it, perhaps she hopes to ruin the chance of anyone else using it and to stay on the property indefinitely. Judge Danforth. Okay. Look, he's coming on strong trying to pin the crime on a girl without any evidence. It's a bit... Strange. Unbecoming. He's supposed to be impartial, but he's really going after this one teenage girl, May. Well, look, he was like a mentor to me in college. We've kept in touch, but I do not know all the details of his situation. Is he in financial trouble? Is this a ploy to get a piece of property? I don't know. Which would be ironic because that's exactly what Judge Hathorn did in 1692. But May isn't involved, at least from what I can see, in the question of ownership of the house. Could be about the people May is related to. Go after her as means to hurt the ones she loves. It's extremely unsettling for a judge to do that, but it has happened before. Alicia Cole is helping Lauren Holt, the supposed heir, with paperwork. Alicia claims she was running errands around town. Oh, she was. She was. Yeah, I was talking to her on the phone about Lauren Holt's case. Ha, huh, look at that. I'm confirming her alibi. Well, that doesn't happen very often. Talk to you later. Thanks. A 
demolition offer for the Hathorn House. Why in the world would Alicia have this? Looks like some kind of map. The requested section of the Salem Waterworks. Marked an access point. Why would Alicia have this? Well, I think Jason is lying to us. I'm hoping the CCTV footage will prove it. Bad news. The footage isn't sorted. We need to put it together in a timeline.
creepy. Creepy.
It's a shame we can't make out the perp's face. <laughs> perp? What? Isn't that what you call them? Suspect, Deirdre. This isn't a crime show. Well, I kind of like using it. Maybe that's my calling card. And yours is, well, whatever it is that you do. Thanks. For what? I think that's the first compliment you've ever given me. It's not a very good one, but I'll take it. Don't get used to it, Drew. Come on. This car looks like our best lead. Hmm. I swear I saw one just like this parked outside the courthouse. We should check it out. A map of Salem. Let's see here. If I align the waterworks map properly, I should be able to figure out which area it represents. The Hathorn House. I need to know what's at that mark. Ladies, ladies. Boy, boy, boy! So, what's up? You guys looking for directions, or...? You seem to hang out a lot in the square. Well, yeah. It's a good vantage point of the whole town. Yeah. Oh, look! I can see the courthouse from right here. Can you see it, Nancy? I can. Yeah. You can see a lot of buildings from the square. It's a square. So did you see anyone on the day the AW evidence was stolen from the judge's office? No, because I wasn't here. I was working for Alicia. What kind of work? Helping her run errands. What errands? Dry cleaning and stuff. Uh-huh. Look, just ask her. She'll confirm it. We will ask her, Jason. Thanks. Do you know May Perry? What? May? Yeah. Why? What does she have to do with this? 
because she's going to be arrested for these crimes by the end of the day, unless we start coming up with answers. What are you talking about? That's ridiculous. There's no way she has anything to do with this. Wait, do you know May? Like, know her? Yeah. Do you talk to her? We know she doesn't have anything to do with these crimes, but everyone thinks she does, and that's good enough to get her into serious trouble. Well, that's too bad. Ha! Found it! Ha! Found it! Can I help you, Miss True? Ladies, ladies, ladies. Boy, boy, boy! So, what's up? You guys looking for directions, or...? Whose car is that, parked in front of the courthouse? That's Alicia Cole's car. You're sure? Yeah, I washed it last week. And the week before that, and the week before that, and the week... Yeah, okay, we get it. See you later. How's business? Slow, thankfully. I feel awful. Just a couple of questions, Lauren, and we'll get out of here. Okay. We know what you're doing. I'm sorry? You're not fooling us. This whole New Age Act, modern apothecary and tea house, please. I spent an entire day in the town archives, okay? I know everything about this town and the people that live here. Inside and out. Deirdre, this isn't the best way. Your family has been here a long time, haven't they? Yes. You're related to Tichiba, correct? Yes. Aha! I knew it! Tichiba is kind of famous around here. She was the first accused witch, a slave from the Caribbean owned by Samuel Paris, Elizabeth Paris's father. Who else knows this, Lauren? I don't know, but it's not like it comes up in normal, everyday conversation, so I've never brought it up. I'm not part of that accused witches organization, if that's what you're angling at. So, you don't get along with Tegan? We used to be friends, okay? And I don't know why you think this is some sort of amazing revelation. Tegan works at the museum. She knows that my great, 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 great grandmother was Tichuba, and she knows that Tichuba was owned by her great, 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 great grandfather. What happened in our ancestors' lives mattered then, and it still matters now. But the fact that Tegan and I aren't friends has nothing to do with the past. It gives you motive. Are you seriously accusing me of setting my own house on fire? Because you don't want Tegan and her AW people to get your place. I don't care at all about Tegan or her organization. You think that's the reason I don't like her? Because her people did something bad to my people 300 years ago? She's trying to kick me out of my home. This shop is how I remember my ancestors. Ask your little questions so I can answer them, and then I'd like you to leave. We need to talk about the ghosts you've seen. What do you want to know? We want 
I'm talking to her. So you've seen them? Abigail Hathorne Woodley? Yep. John Hathorne? Yes. And Tichaba? And Francis Tuttle? And Judge Sewell? And everyone else who's ever lived in this town? Why didn't you say this before? Because it sounds crazy. How long have you been seeing them? Ever since Francis died. Do you mind if I ask what you ate yesterday? I do mind. That's kind of personal. Give me a break. It's okay. Just tell us. Did you eat any cereal type stuff? Like rye bread? I'm gluten free. Oh, good. So no grains? Not to my knowledge. Anything to drink? Salem's finest. Tap water, just like everyone else in town. What do you know about Ergot? Why do you ask? Why are you being so suspicious? Why are you being such a... Enough. Please, we're asking because we believe the ghost sightings might be related to Ergot poisoning. Claviceps purpurea. What? I had a break-in a few weeks ago. They took all my money, which wasn't much. But the funny thing is, they also took my ergot. You have it here? Of course. It treats migraines and cluster headaches. It's part of any good person is toxic in high enough dosage. Why do you ask? We think that the ghost sightings are related to ergot poisoning. I don't know. They seem so real. We found a demolition notice in Alicia Cole's office. Demolition? Yeah, as in destroying the Hathorne house. Alicia is your lawyer, correct? Yeah. So why would she have this document on her desk? I have no idea. We never talked about any kind of demolition. You sure you're not looking to build your dream home? It's a great location. No, I am not looking to build my dream home. Talk to you later. Is that all? I have a couple more. Yes. Thank you, Lauren. Have a good day. I don't like her. Yeah, you made that clear. She knows the Paris family history. She's motivated to stop Tegan from achieving her goals with the AW organization. And there's a way to go about doing things, Deirdre. What you did in there isn't it. You're welcome. The Salem Museum. Prime address for local history and information on the infamous witch trials. Last night, I still have that ghost in my head and my hands burn, right? Like pins and needles. Yeah, how'd you know? We think we were poisoned by ergot. Ergot? Really? What's that? It's a fungus. A fungus? What? But how? What did you eat yesterday? Eat? Why? Just humor us. Well, I had a breakfast cantaloupe, and then I had lunch at Kale Me Crazy. It's this vegan place. Uh-huh. What did you have? Kale salad, chickpeas, raisins, with thousand witches dressing. Not very fungal. No. Anything to drink yesterday? Coffee at breakfast, fair trade, obviously. Smoothie at Kale Me Crazy. And tea? What kind of tea? It was a matcha. Gross. Well, I like it. Where's the water from? Excuse me? The water that you made your tea with. 
It was just normal faucet water. Some people filter. I don't have the time. Besides, Lauren has the best matcha. You can't tell it's unfiltered. Whose faucet? Lauren's? I went to try to talk to her about the ghosts. She made me tea. It was better than the conversation. I took my tea to go and then ended up sharing it with the Hardy brothers. I ran into them. Boys. Yeah, them. In the cemetery. Joe wanted to try my tea. So you all drank the tea? Yeah. Talk to you later. glad to hear your voice you have no idea really yes why wouldn't I be well you know we haven't really been talking much lately I know I know I know it's just it's just that you're busy with your life and I've been busy with mine and Ned I've missed you so much yeah me too can we go on vacation just you and me together for once vacation why, well, I just got off fall break. Yeah, I know. But next break, will you go with me? Of course. I'd love to. I'm there, but... No excuses. We'll think of something fun to do. Deirdre had an interesting idea I wanted to run by you. You spoke to Deirdre? And about me? I know. This is the craziest case. I can't wait to tell you all about it. You know, I'm actually really glad that you picked up. Because I really wanted to have a longer conversation with you about... Nancy! Come here! Hang on a second, guys. You know, we will have that conversation about everything. But I think it now is not a good time. <laughs> Listen, I understand. It means a lot that you're trying. I just want you to be safe. I don't want to worry you with the details. This case has been crazy, but I'm working with some good people and it's going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. Okay? I've never heard you talk like this. Should I be worried? No, no, no. The Hardy Boys are here and... Oh, really? Both of them? Yeah. You know, they're kind of a team. Frank? Yeah. Both of them. Like I said. Oh. Good. They'll look out for you. Nance? Yeah? I love you. I love you too. Talk soon. Bye. This is taking too long. It's actual science, Joe. Real science takes time. Ghost hunting is real science. In some circles. Well, you find anything? I've been testing the soil from various sites around the cemetery. So far, nothing. We'll keep looking, but I don't think the source of the poison is here. That's what I've been saying. Ah. Don't worry about him. He's just agitated with all the looks he's been getting. Digging in a cemetery looks very suspicious. Let's backtrack. 
What did you guys eat and drink around the time of the ghost's appearance? We had tea. Tea? Yeah, we were looking for Olivia Ravencroft and found her. She had tea, so we drank it. It was matcha. Surprisingly good. You drank tea in the middle of a cemetery? Resident drink expert here. Man loves a good beverage. You were barely able to get your drink down. Boys, focus! Where exactly did Olivia get the tea? She had just bought it from Lauren Holt. What about the water for the tea? No idea. I'd ask either of them. Keep digging. Literally and figuratively. You know, we're not boys. It's just part of our name. Hmm. Whatever you say. See you later. looks strange. Someone has been here recently. Ha! It's rusted shut. Rusty metal. <laughs> These spots. It's covered in ergot fungus. What are you doing? We found this in your water supply. It's you! You're trying to poison me. Are you? No, we're not. We found this ergot in your water supply, using blueprints we found in Alicia Cole's office. Alicia? Alicia has been poisoning you, Lauren. But why? We don't know. But we're going to find out. Run all your faucets, shower, anything with a spigot for 20 minutes. It should flush out any of the ergot in your supply. Yeah, you know, I think I'm just gonna stick to the bottled water. That works too. Tegan? Hey, I'm with Deirdre gone. What? May, she's gone. Okay, just hold on. We'll be there soon. We weren't fast enough. Let's go. leave a note, no text. I came home for lunch from the museum and she was gone. Do you have any idea why she would leave? Juvenile record. They published it? I could have sworn we had it expunged, but someone found it. The newspaper highlighted an arson incident. What a rag! Yeah, and now she's gone missing. So when they find her, they'll really try to put her away. May never gave an alibi because she was protecting someone. Do you have any idea who that might be? Jason Danforth. Wait, really? Yeah, May doesn't really seem to be Jason's type. Before she disappeared, I admit I read through her phone. She left it in the living room and why would she do that? They used to be friends when they were younger, but grew apart. I guess they still kept in touch. Jason said he was in trouble for something, but he never said what. She knew. Look, Tegan, I hate to say this, 
but there is a possibility that May had something to do with the fire. It's not true. Because I was the one who set Hathorn House on fire. What? It was an accident. I was looking for the will, the Francis's will. I looked everywhere, and I couldn't find it, so I just started tearing the place apart. And I was in the storage room, and there were some paint cans, and I knocked over the candle I was using, and it just ignited, like whoosh, burst into flames. Why didn't May say something? I have no idea. I'm so sorry, Deirdre. I'm sorry to both of you. I don't know what I was thinking bringing you into this. What did I think was going to happen? We need to find May. Please. Please find her. If we find her... If you find her, I will turn myself in. You should do that anyway. Think sooner! Were you planning on having May take the fall for this? Really? After everything, she's... I know, I'm sorry. I... I was hoping it would all just fix itself, blow over. They have nothing on her, so they can't blame her for it, right? I thought we could both just get away from it, but she wouldn't give an alibi. I don't understand why. And I didn't want to risk my work for A.W. How did it come to this? You should be ashamed. Deirdre, we need to go. Is there any info you can give us on where she might be? I know she has secret hiding places around town, but I don't know where they are. Please, find her. We will. The storm got worse. Really? As if we need more rain right now. We're going wherever May is, rain or not. This isn't going to stop us, right? Right. Hey. What's going on? Long story, but Tegan set fire to the Hathorn house and May is missing. What? I need you and Joe to just stay with her and make sure she doesn't go anywhere. Our first arrest. Private detectives can't arrest people. Citizens arrest. Wait, you're going out looking for her? The storm is getting bad, Nance. Time's up. I need to set these wrongs right. Be careful. When am I not? Hey, wait for me. Nah, I've had enough of this. What? Us? We don't work well together. Everything about this is wrong. What are you talking about? We just solved the crime. I called you because I needed you to connect with May to prevent this from happening. I couldn't. She was avoiding me. The one thing I wanted from you, you couldn't deliver. Deirdre, that's not fair. You know what? It's fine. If we split up, we have a better chance of finding her. Agreed? Well, I guess. So... Juvenile record? How horrible to print this of a teenager. I hope May is okay.
Hey, detective lady. You shouldn't be out in the rain. It'll ruin your makeup. What are you doing out here, Jason? I should ask you the same thing. I'm looking for May Perry. She's gone missing. You never told me you were friends with May. Uh, uh, let's talk in the car. May and I have been friends for years. You never mentioned her. Since when do I have to tell you everything? Do you know she's missing? She's not missing. She told me she was hiding. Where? <laughs> I think it's about time you head back to wherever you're from, Nancy Drew. This isn't your problem anymore. All right, get up. I have to go. You're going to kick me out in the rain? Wait. There is something in here. What do you think you're doing? You can get out of my car now. Man, the storm is bad. Huh, this is interesting. Turns out we were in Austria at the same time. What a strange coincidence. I... You didn't happen to visit Mosam Castle on your trip, did you, Jason? Oh, uh, okay, 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 yes in Austria, and yes, I was at Mosam Castle. Oh, this wasn't supposed to happen. Who bought the tickets? What? You flew first class. You didn't pay for that. Alicia Cole. Did you steal the AW evidence too? Explain. I want my lawyer. Sure. Who is your lawyer? It's Alicia, isn't it? Jason. She's not going to help me, is she? You can get another one. <sighs> What's the point? Yeah, I stole it from my dad's office. It was easy enough. The guy doesn't lock his door, like, ever. <laughs> and then I gave it to Alicia. I don't know where it is now. Ugh, my dad's gonna kill me. So you flew to Austria to steal the Book of Apologies? Uh-huh. So... You saw me there. Yep. Does Alicia have the book now? Actually, no. Where is it? It's somewhere safe. I need it to... You need to hand it over. I don't have it. You need to do it now. I don't have it, all right? Am I supposed to believe Alicia is behind this? You want proof? Yes. I don't have any. Why, though? Alicia knows about my financial situation. Once she found out, she squeezed and never let go. Threatened to tell my father. Jason, you committed a crime in another country. How bad could it be? I know, I know, it's bad. Why would Alicia do this? No idea. She never told me. Yeah, I, I know, I screwed up. You haven't mentioned May once. I thought she was your friend. She has the book. You need to tell me where she is, Jason. Every minute that goes by with her on the run is bad for her and you. In the tunnels, underneath Salem. Go to the Little Liberty statue and light it up. You'll see the way in. She's down there. Thank you, Jason, for telling me everything. Promise me you'll find May. It's not safe down there with the rain. Every time it rains, a tunnel caves in. Why don't you show me? I have to look for my dad. Tell him what happened. You can do that after we find May. I'm not... I'm not a good person, okay? I'm scared. 
I don't want to go down there, not in this weather. I'll find her. Come on, Deirdre. Hi. You've reached the phone of Private Investigator Deirdre Shannon. I'm working on an important case and can't come to the phone right now. But if you have any information you'd like to share, please leave a message after the beep. Shoot. Yeah? You heard from Deirdre? No. Well, I know where May is. She's underneath Salem. Underneath? Meet me in the cemetery. I need your help to find her. The cemetery? Okay, we'll be right there. What do we do about Tegan? This is more important. She's not going anywhere. And Frank, don't tell her about May. I don't want her trying to come with us. This is going to be very dangerous. Copy that. Hey! We're here. What do you need us to do? We could get umbrellas or... Joe! Or just stand here and wait for instructions. Thanks, guys. Jason said there was some way to open the tunnels with the statue. But he didn't really say how. Bring light into darkness. Hmm. Think it's a metaphor? Of course. The light is the truth, and the darkness is... The night. I would think we need truth during business hours as well. No. It's a clue. I need a source of light. Did you bring any? You didn't bring any flashlights? We don't have any. All this ghost hunting gear and not a single flashlight? You know, I think I remember seeing some decorative lamps over by the museum. Maybe we can borrow one? Yeah, I'll check it out. with tea. Gave it up. Now I'm just straight cola. All the sugar, all the caffeine. I am wired up like a 10,000 volt power line, but I have not seen one single ghost today. That's great, Olivia. Hey, yes. Can you do me a favor? I found something and I, uh, can you give this to Tegan for me, please? We used to be really good friends and maybe this will, I don't know, remind her of that. Can you give it to her? I can't do it. I'm, I need your help. Sure. I'll give it to her. Oh, thank you. I just want her to know she isn't alone. Hey, Olivia, can I borrow one of these lamps? Sure, yeah, of course. <laughs> hey there, girl. Can't tell if you're supposed to be cute or creepy.
light into darkness. That you did, Abigail. Wonder if you made it out. Can't use that here. Deep dark hole. Yeah. Look at this place. It's like Salem's version of the Parisian catacombs. Uh, 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 hey guys, hold on one second. Hey, I'm at the entrance to the tunnels. Jason says May is hiding down here and. You're really going down there? Yeah. Look, I haven't been fair to you. It's okay. Deirdre, I have to go. No, it isn't. I brought you into this. And I'm just so mad that Tegan lied to me. Deirdre, I understand, but I really have to go. Wait! Wait. I don't want to be that kind of person. I know we don't see eye to eye on everything. But I don't want to lie to you. The arson that caused May's burn. Watch her at the house that night. I did. She left, and I didn't even notice. Keegan was with her friends, so I was supposed to watch her. Check on her once. I was stupid. I don't think either of them will ever forgive me. She was just a kid. So were you. Well, I can't talk to her anymore. And now she won't talk to anybody. I didn't come home last night because I couldn't stand being in the same room as her and... Deirdre, I'll find her and bring her home, I promise. Thank you. Make sure we don't get lost down here. One misstep and we might never get out. Deep breaths. We have directions to follow. Everything will be fine. This looks like the one I found before. Wait, it's not the same. There's someone else here. Younger looks like they're hiding. Who is that? more closely. Ah! Ow! 
my ears. I'm deaf. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That one got away from me. Hey, did you hear that? What? Ah! What is it? Keys. Sounds wooden. Like a door? It's coming from that way, but the directions go this way. We're on it. Wait, our cell phones don't work down here. And that sounds really angry. It could be May. But if we go that way, we might not be able to find our way back. Look! We'll follow the signs. Okay, good luck. Hey, Joe! If you guys get in trouble, just scream. I'll be able to hear you. Very funny. B? Yep, I always am. Hey, check this out! This is a dead end. Yes, Frank? So, we're wading through this water... Yeah? And it's in tunnels? Underground? I know what you're asking. I'd rather not think about it. Make sense. Uh. I'll handle it. Hi, my name is Frank Hardy. I'm with my brother Joe. Um, do you need any help? Yes. Doesn't anyone answer their phone anymore? Deirdre? Deirdre, the door's locked. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Ugh. Okay, guys. I need you to get in here. I'm being crushed. I need your help. Fast! Deirdre, we're coming. Yeah, but how? I don't know. We gotta find a way.
Sure, sure. Now let's get on with this strange door. Come on, get them all in there. Is that even possible? I mean, look at them. Hey guys, I can't take this much longer. What's the hold up? Got it. We're coming in. Grab her! Grab her! What the heck are you doing down here? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Are you okay? Uh, my leg. It's just bruised, I think. I'll be fine. I thought you were dying. Well, I could have died if you hadn't saved me. I would have been trapped down here for days and starved to death. Where are we? We're in Hathorn House. I came here to try and find the will. That was a secret entrance. The rain is really doing a number on what's left of the place. I managed to get past the stairs, but that bookcase? Well, I'm just glad you two were here. Who knew that old furniture is really heavy? Not for me. Man strength. <laughs> Yeah, right. It was all worth it. You know, secret room. I bet you this is where Abigail was kept. Imagine all the bad memories of this place. That's not all. Look down. Hey, I think I found something. Let me see. Ah! It's a riddle. We need this to figure out which buttons to press. Probably. How come we have this? I don't remember picking this up. I like riddles, so I borrowed it from Nancy. Oh, um, does she know you took it? Stop daydreaming, guys. Get cracking on this thing.
Don't move. Yeah, I'm not moving. It's a puzzle. Captain Obvious, reporting for duty. These symbols, I've seen them before. Look around, Frank. Maybe there's a key or something. They moved down. Yes, we all saw it. This machine is awesome. It's like a giant... Bites the dust. Let's figure out the next one. This is going pretty good, actually. Did you ever doubt us? Uh, well. Don't answer that one. Good job, everyone. Yes, perfect. Now, take more time to celebrate and we'll have the ceiling joining us. Oh! Whoa! Cool! A house? Within the house. Oh! Something moved. This is so exciting. Well, what is it? What is it? It's Francis Tuttle's will. It's right through here. I know it. May! Come on, hurry! May! May? May, say something. May, can you hear me? My head. You were unconscious. I'm okay. Have a concussion. I'm gonna move you over to the wall, okay? Okay. Okay. Ah! sister is really worried about you. I'm sure she is. We need to get out of here. Wait, not yet. Jason told me he brought a book down here. It's a very important book that I need to find. I can't leave without it. Do you know anything about that? If it's here, you can look for it. Oh! I hope you don't mind if I sit it out. Just don't take too long, okay? 